My name's Chris Millis. I'm the, one of the directors of Flavorite Hydroponic Tomatoes in Warrigal. And we are a glasshouse production company producing tomatoes, capsicums, cucumbers and eggplants. The history of Flavorite is that we started in Warrigal in 1993 family business owned by two families, the Millises and the Nichols. Both families are out of the wholesale market, so with a history of selling. And then my father decided he wanted to put the taste back into tomatoes. So he started researching and we, uh, we built a facility at Tynal. Um, and then we, we made uh, Flavorite here in 93 uh, with the Nichols and started selling back into the wholesale market. Our products that we grow here are um, mostly kept in Australia, so 99% is in Australia and 1% is for export to places like uh, Hong Kong and Singapore. And the other, the 99% is mostly to the supermarkets. So uh, Aldi, Costco, Woolies, Coles, IGA take 90% of that and only 10% ends up in the wholesale market. The real benefits to being in the La Trobe Valley are um, natural gas, uh, labour's good, mm -hmm. so we have uh, most of our employees come, our full-time employees come from the Latrobe Valley. When, uh, when we think about expansion for the future and where to expand, um, the Latrobe Valley for us is a key area because of the climate and the proximity to Melbourne, but the opportunities for this industry we think is, is limitless because we're replacing field production um, in only 15, 20 years, we've replaced half of field production in Australia with glasshouse production. Um, the valley has great opportunities for that. There's also excellent opportunities to partner with another industry that where they have CO2 or waste heat um, as a byproduct. So then you, you can really build a glasshouse precinct next to them, and they do that in Europe all the time. So the funding process, uh, yeah, it was it was good. It was quite clear and easy to follow, like all in all, um, we have a good project that uh, we wanted to do and, and we probably couldn't have done it without the, the funding. When we're, we're always looking at our capex and our expansion plans and uh, we, we usually move quite slowly because we're a family business, so the, the funding has allowed us to move forward faster than we, we would have without it. Yeah, I think uh, any business that uh, is successful and has a, an opportunity to, to expand but is short of capex should definitely uh, talk to RDV about you know, possibilities of funding to get, to get moving quicker.